Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. So today, okay, um, 24th of May, 2021, and its time is 1.57 a.m. So um, we will covering on the last part of the week 10. Okay, week 10 is about um, magnetic material, material and influence, right? Previously, I have covered about a uh, magnetic force. Okay, so we will sh show now cover uh, start to cover the magnetization. Okay, so magnetization from Sadi Kupu is page starting from page three seven two. Okay, Magneti mag magnetization. Okay, so this is from your Sadi books. Okay, so actually magneti uh, magnetization is uh, similarly what happened in polarization in electrostatic okay where we were going to have a, a small um, <coughs> magnetization okay we will have a small something a small happen inside the atomic structure okay of the dielectric material okay as what you have guys um, observe from uh, it from electrostatic chap uh, chapter where we where we experience um, um polarization inside uh the electric material for example right where we have a bound charge where we have a volume bound charge okay so this um similarly is analogous that uh, we will um have this kind of things inside the material okay make but is in the aspect of magnetization so we will learn about the magnet magnetizations okay and its effect and of course um we will try to cover as well magnetic boundary condition if my memories allows okay so like what i say page 372 okay you guys can do for yourself okay and of course uh, i have shared you guys the slide okay so please look to the slide as well and to the study book and to lecture and to the video by the experienced lecturer and other lectures inshallah and after that you inshallah you can um <coughs> do do uh you can go through uh you can um undergo this subject uh, successfully okay and with effort from you guys as well another one is to do exercise okay so now <coughs> So I will be referring from the slide as well and also from the Sadiq book, okay? I mean, trying to explain this to you guys, okay? So that to make sure that I'm in the syllabus, okay? So, okay? When a magnetic material is exposed, okay? When it's exposed to magnetic field, okay? We call this a magnetic material okay when it's exposed to magnetic field we're going to have magnetic dipole moment just a small fraction okay like this okay just like when we have in the in the uh, polarization of in electricity is dp okay so we're going to have a magnetic dipole moment a small differential okay magnetic dipole moment okay when so this one can be produced by when you have an in atomic structure okay where you have the nucleus and you have the electron am i correct electron is negatively charged this one is a positively charged okay so magnetic magnetic dipole moments okay can be produced by either electron orbit around the nucleus one second electron spin okay two and os and of the other one is the nucleus spin so you have three factor okay where we produce this magnetic dipole moments okay so both of these um, motions okay this we call is internal uh, magnetic field okay but resulting by from the electron orbiting around the nucleus or electron spinning itself 
Okay, this will produce the mag internal magnetic field. Okay. We will produce internal magnetic field. Okay, we can use B I. Okay, to refer is a magnet, magnet uh, internal magnetic field. That is similar to the magnetic field that you produce in, for example, the current loop. Okay. Okay, but this one is happen internally. Okay. So, the equivalent current loop has a magnetic moments. Okay. Um, M equals to I B and s and you have a a n this is one is the unit direction okay unit direction so so where this one is actually referring to the area of the loop okay and this one is what we call as bound current okay i think you heard this one from uh, electrostatic field where we have bound surf bound char bound surface charge and bound volume charge okay this one is similar analogous okay so we, what why does it mean by bound because it is bound in atom uh, bound to the atom like in the electrostatic <coughs> when we expose it into the electric field the dielectric material will have we start to have positive sub here and negative here for example they are bound bounded so they are not moving anyway they are bounded so this one is similar so, okay we call this a bound current okay because for the magnetic field it's about current okay whereas for the electrostatic field it's about charge okay so without external field okay if we don't apply this uh, external field to this material for example okay um let's say for the material okay if we don't apply if we don't apply the external electric field, okay, the sum of M, okay, the summation of our M is zero due to our M. If there is no external field, we are not going to have magnetic dipole moment which is sorry without the external field we're not going to have the magnetic moments okay so that's why the m okay will be zero okay if you don't apply external field external b okay and what happened okay here there is no the here is the electric depot moment is not equals to zero because why we see we have this right we have a small dipole moment okay but the if <coughs> if we don't apply external field the sum of our m which is our magnetization or we can have a magnetic moments okay magnetic moment is equals to zero okay so the next when we start applying the sorry when we exp applying the external field okay what happened okay okay sorry when we applying this b uh, external okay our the electric depot moment is there but they are not aligned in the any directions okay and that's why our uh, magnetization our magnetization <coughs> will become zero okay so but what actually happened like this okay so you can have this one is they can be in this direction for this atom this one can be in this direction so they are scattered they are not uh, following any pattern but when we start applying this external field okay for example if we apply our external field now 
in this direction. Okay. So we're going to start to have an uniform. Magnetization, or we can like for example in the electricity polarization this one is magnetization so the same the dm is for sure it's not zero okay because we have we always have this the uh, dipole moments right this one magnetic dipole moments inside there it's still not zero however our m now instead of zero here now we have some value which is non-zero okay because we see when we apply it start going to have a magnetization so, so a magnetization M, okay, the definition is um is in ampere per meter, okay, is ampere per meter magnetization. Sorry, it's an vector, and is the magnitude dipole moments. So I hope you guys um will read and please with like definition is uh, bonus mark okay so you need to read and understand, read every letters every page of the book to have your understanding and of course to score some bonus mark like definition okay so the uh, magnetic dipole moment per unit volume okay So if we have, um, you know, when we have in material, right, we have a lot of, um, not only one atom, okay, not only one atom, we can have more, okay, actually if we have more, we don't have only, like, it's not very logic to have material, big material only one. So, so this magnetization is contributed by small, small, small um, magnetic moments, okay, of M. So this one in the page of 373. 373 they they introduce us to the con to the submission formula okay which i think you guys uh, will agree because this one is contributed by all by all the magnetic moments okay okay so this is the submission okay if you want to consider the whole magnetization contributed by whole of this atomic structure okay by all the atoms okay <clears throat> okay the next we will introduce okay to the concept of uh, bound charge okay uh, sorry um, because in let's just say we use bound but it's for bound charge but similarly in here we will use the concept of bound but it is for current okay so we are introduced to this uh, similarly okay i think it's a bit easier to understand and learning now since we already have knowledge some knowledge from the bound car charge in electrostatic this one is just uh, analogous okay so the next we are introduced to the concept we have a bound volume current density or we can have a volume surface current density okay so you can refer to your um to your to your slide and your study code okay so okay now let's say if we want to consider bound now why bounded? Because they are bounded to the atom, okay? So we have bound volume density, okay? Which also known, okay? Which is also known, aka, is a magnetization volume current density. See? So you have two names for the same thing. Just like, just like Raimi, Somebody call him Raimi, somebody call him me, some call him Ray, so it's still the same guy, okay? So, we have bound volume current density. When we have volume, we will also need to have what? Surface, right? Am I correct? So, the next is bound surface current density, okay? Okay, and this one... 
for the volume current density um, the units okay is jb okay in ampere per meter square okay whereas for this um for this bound surface current density it is in ampere per meter okay so and then um we will relate this to the equation okay in, uh, relate we're going to relate this bound um bound volume or bound current with our mechanization okay so this one is unit okay so if we were going to relate okay if we are um going to relate this bound volume okay so okay e this one is in saliku okay and you know don't confuse yourself okay in um in slide it is being referred to this jm okay but they are the same thing okay so don't confuse as long as you know this one is means bound volume density so the formula involved in relation with bound this bound volume density bound volume current density sorry this uh, type i forget to write bound volume current density with our m mechanizations okay is actually j m equals to curl of mechanizations okay so and it is in unit of ampere per meter square so if the make uh, if in the event that we will have magnetic inside uh, field inside a material is uniform okay for example okay if we have a magnetic field inside is uniform for example is we have a material for example magnetic material okay then we apply this ba okay our external uh, field okay then what we have okay what we have we're going to have an m mechanization inside okay and we're going to have uh, this one where we call is a um, magnetic dipole moment small small magnetic dipole moment which we actually uh, label just now as what sdm okay and it's in this direction okay so if magnetic field inside is uniform okay then we will have <coughs> our gm equals to zero okay so here how about kb then kb is um the for the surface current bound surface magnetic current or bound surface current density okay so in the book okay in the book they use um in uh, sorry in the slide they're using j s m okay equals to m okay, okay this one they use this j s m so don't for you for confuse okay so this one is for surface so this formula relates to this magnetization for the surface current density condition or bound surface magnetic current okay there is a lot of name but they are still referring to the same thing so this one also refer as a bound surface magnetic current okay so relate this to this uh, magnetization is actually we have jsm okay equals to magnetization capital m okay sorry and cross with a <coughs> with a unit vector okay with a unit vector and this overall is in the unit ampere per meter and of course this one sadiku used this thing so they are still the same thing okay <coughs> it means unit vector so
the vector m is actually analogous to the polarization okay i think you guys know this already just like i told you guys and um, m and h i have the same unit in this respect okay so for a magnetized body just like a um, polarized body as in the electrostatic so we will going to have a magnetized body okay just like similar to in electrostatic polarized body so this one we refer as a magnetized body so in um, this jb and kb can be derived from this magnetization right okay therefore uh, that's why we not commonly use this um, jb and kb okay so now let's reconsider in free space condition okay in free space condition where you have like for example if you m is equals to zero okay the capital m is equals to zero okay and we have this um formula okay we have j f okay is the current volume density is actually the curl of H okay and we know H is what H is actually okay this one is in free space okay in free space in free space okay M is equals to zero okay in free space M is equals to zero so you have you know about this j is equals to curl of h okay and after that b you know that h is actually in this free space is actually b equals to micro not h am i correct so you just replace here you will have cross of b over mu not am i correct okay and this jf is actually the uh, free current volume density okay so and you know actually we in this magnetized magnetized material we will have these elements of the free current volume density and we also have the bound bound bounded okay we have a free current volume density and we also have a bounded volume current density okay we use this uh vol we use volume because it is actually easily to represent because it represents all kind of and any other current which is surface current line current okay just like how why we're using rho v to describe because rho v in electrostatic volume charge also covers this surface charge and also line charge okay and also point charge okay so so free when we have free current volume density in magnetized material and don't forget we also have a bounded bounded um, magnetized uh, magnet, uh, bounded uh, volume current density jb right okay so okay so when we have we translate this here we continue okay i'm not sure if you guys can see okay so when we have this b equals to mu naught okay and when we have in magnetized material we not only have jf okay but we also have jm okay volume current density okay so i just this one i just uh, introduce you guys okay in saliko using jb in uh it's like using jm okay so okay so gf and jm this one is the ele uh, free current volume density and this one is the bound volume current density bounded okay bounded okay so this one is actually equals to the total j okay total volume current density so and we can actually um expand this again this guy okay so jf is what jf we know it is a curl of h okay this one okay and jm we know from here is a curl of m 
Am I correct? Okay. And then factorizing this guy and removing the removing the del operator. Okay. Rearranging, you will have beta equals to uh, sorry, it's b. Okay, b. This is your magnetic field. You will have um mu naught here. Okay, and you have h plus your m. Okay, magnetic field plus your magnetization. Sorry, this one is capital M. Okay, I always uh, wrongly put. Okay, so. Okay, now we're going to introduce okay uh, another formula okay we are going to derive another formula okay so the relationship this one is whole for all material whether the we have going to have mat uh, linear or linear material or not okay so where we have this kind of relationship so For linear materials, okay, for linear material, M, okay, you know M is actually in ampere per meter, okay, M is actually in ampere per meter, M is depends lin linearly for, for example, if we consider a case of linear material, okay, our M, is actually de linearly dependent okay linearly dependent with our h okay so this is where we introduce the new one which is m equals to i hope i i write it okay okay So this in linear material we are introduced into this susceptibility. Okay, this one we call as a susceptibility. Okay, this is actually to show uh, how sensitive or how less um, how susceptible the material to a magnetic field. Okay, so this one is dimensionless. It doesn't have quantity because it is just a ratio between H and M, right? So there is no quantity, so dimensionless. Okay. Now we will substitute this, for example. Okay, we try to substitute this guy into this now. Okay, we are trying to substitute this into this. Okay, so what we obtain after? Okay. Here, okay. Continue to here. So we try to inst inst we try to substitute. For example, this B. This is A. Okay, we substitute A into our B. Okay, what we have. Oh, sorry, I. Okay, so. Okay, we try to substitute our A into our B. So we have this mechanization, right? So B equals to mu naught H. Okay, we substitute this. What we call is uh, substitutable. Now we introduce, okay, uh, plus. So if you guys notice, okay, this one we can factorize the H. Am I correct? So if you factorize the H, you put H outside, then you will left with one plus psi. Okay, uh, magnetic susceptibility. Then. This one is actually 
is relatable okay relatable with mu of h okay so uh, this is the effective mu okay now we are going to relate with the many um, permeability this one is permeability right uh, permeability in free space and also with the respect of the material so if you factorize u mu you will obtain is actually mu is actually about what mu is actually what mu naught and mu r am i correct and this mu r is actually a one plus magnetic susceptibility okay as easy as that right and if you want to take this mu r okay mu r is actually your mu minus and you are is actually your mu minus mu naught am i correct and you also know that this mu mu r is actually also equals to your xm okay your psi m okay so this uh this one is under important okay just like the derivation of in electrostatic between this one this one and this one okay the relationship between them so uh, with that we finish with the maintenizations okay um i think the question for this um maybe will be quite straightforward okay this co uh, questions okay you can see the equation that you learn is actually um jm okay bounded ma uh, magnetic volume current density is equals to curl of magnetizations for the surface bounded uh, for bound surface magnetic current is actually the magnetization curl with your um unit vector which is normal to both of these uh, which is normal okay then you are also introduced to this b equals to mu naught h plus m and you are also introduced to this m is uh for linear material is x um psi m h which is substability then you are introduced to this mu r which is usually the ratio of mu over mu naught where is also equals to one plus psi m okay magnetic substability so with that i think the question will be um be pretty straightforward on this okay you can try the corresponding um let me see if there is any exercise <clears throat> okay so there is okay let me see for the example we refer to okay so the regions is an occupied by infinite slab of permeable material of mu r it's given here mu r 2.5 if b is equal to 10 y ax unit there right there of x <coughs> minus 5 x a y for weber per meter square okay weber per meter square is a uh, what is the other unit tesla right within the slab determine the j j b m k b on z equals to zero so first you know by definitions okay how is if actually you obtain your j okay j is from the curl of h okay so simply put this curl and h inside <coughs> and how you have your h they didn't give the h but they give you b so you know the uh, the relation right your duration between um, b and h okay so you can have b equals to mu naught mu r h or your b also can equals to mu not mu r h okay so here they use it because they don't have this h value directly so they use the b so this is b over mu not and mu r okay then you get this accordingly okay the next discussion is asking about the jb jb is what the volume the bound volume current density so what is your jb 
JB is actually your curl of M. Okay, so so here they use this JB. Okay. Oh, okay. And then the, the question is, you see, is M if after, M if as after. So you not go, you cannot able to use M directly. You need to solve this JM from uh, different ways. Okay, so you have um, so they're showing us. It said GB is substituted to your J. J is actually the total. Okay, the total um, volume density. Okay, total volume density. Which this is your XM, okay? You know, JB equals to magnetic substability N to your J, okay? This one, you actually know it is what? This one is actually 1 plus XM is equals to mu R, okay? Then, in order to get your XM, it is mu r minus 1 okay okay that's why they use mu r minus 1 here and then the next question is about <coughs> uh, m so how are we going to find the m you know from the linear material okay from linear material m is equal to magnetic stability time um, dot with your H field okay so that's why we have this okay so X M and H since we don't have H we need to use the same which is B equals to my mu naught and mu R okay so the next question is asking about KB what is your KB KB is actually the bounded surface current sense density which also can be called as bound surface okay this is surface magnetic current so you learn from the equations, okay, <clears throat> for the bound surface current density, where the KB in Sadiku or JSM in slide is still the same. It means that this magnetization curl with a unit vector, okay, unit vector. So you come across with M here. You have this M which you take from this value, and AN is what? AN is, um, is following is going out from the uh, slab okay so what you see this one is zero seven uh, zero z and m okay okay you have this region zero z and m and you have on z zero so m is actually in y okay you can see right from this uh, let me see how are we going to determine the the curl okay how are we going to determine so you see this one is your x this is your y okay this one is your z okay so m is what m is in x and also your y okay and then z is given is zero so, and it's go, going to say that it's a uh, occupying, okay? Occupying for the lower side of the side, occupying 0, z equals to 2. So, the region 0, anti 2, okay? Here, 0, anti 2. So you can imagine that you have something like this, okay? You have something like this box, okay? So now, uh, then you have KB. KB is a surface car surface um surface current density which we don't know yet, but we know our M, okay? Our magnetization, our magnetization is uh, X positive, and also the negative of this one, okay? So. Okay, so if you want to find a direction which is normal to this, okay, 
Okay, you see this one is x, this one is y. So, x and y. So, okay, um, how I'm going to show this. So, is x going to your y, okay? x going to your y. So, it's going downwards. So, this y, this unit vector is actually your negative z. Because this one is x, x, and going towards y, and this one is your direction of the perpendicular, okay? So I think this is quite easy. Um, let me for me to do this practice exercise. Okay, and then uh, next, uh, I will cover about this uh, what we what we call as the uh, magnet, the boundary condition. Okay, we will study about this boundary conditions. Uh, just the same as uh, electrostatics. Okay, where we have boundary condition, uh, where we're going to. Um, um, for one for this vector okay later on I will uh, I will explain okay in the electrostatic we have tangential and normal component right similarly also in magnetic material we also will have okay so um, I will this one will be uh, explained in the next uh, lecture okay and I hope you guys will read okay and uh, on this okay um, so let me try to take it from above uh, I try to okay so you have the full view okay so this is what we learned today so we learned about the magnetic in um, for ba in boundary condition later on okay uh, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh